This comes to us from Cosmic Book News right over here. It says Deadpool and Wolverine box office. Ron Tomatoes updates. Great movie gets our official recommendation. I would say, would you recommend Deadpool 3 to a friend? Yeah, I would. because Simply because you don't need to. It's entertaining in itself. If you want to freeze your brain kind of story, you don't really need to ultra appreciate every single cameo. Plus, you don't need to have watched one and two. To appreciate this one so yeah. yeah i would i would agree too like, like because the thing is that a lot of people won't watch it if it's not a part of the uh, not a part of the official mcu canon now the fact that this is basically in a way part of the mcu i would say yes you can watch it without having to watch the other ones there are a lot of easter eggs and tie-ins that you won't know cameos will be funny but like if you didn't grow up watching those movies you probably won't understand however it's still a good movie overall uh i would say if 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 you really like Deadpool and you like the cameos, you watch all the other movies. Yeah. I would give like an eight or an eight, five out of 10. If you don't know any of the other cameos and stuff like that, this is like a seven at best for you. Like in terms of, like, okay, this is pretty good. Right. So uh, I do want to go all the way down right over here. This is the current rotten tomato score. I believe this, I'm not sure if this is updated. I do have the rotten tomatoes pulled up. Uh, see, where is it right over here? I'm going to refresh this really quick. And currently it has 80%. Uh, for uh, critics and 97% for audiences. Now, if you go inside, all uh, top critic is 63 and all 63. critics is 80. Bullshit. Yes. Six, yeah, 63. That's, cool. that's bullshit, man. Yeah. And you give, you give like Doctor Who 100 or was it 95? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then right over here, and now you go to verify audience is 97 and all audience 96. Now, this is actually pretty re- pretty similar. So in my opinion, overall, I would say this is like about a 96, 95. I think everyone enjoyed it. I think everyone has been extremely tired with all the MCU woke garbage nonsense. And whether or not it's not woke, it's just really, really bad, right? Now, let's go ahead and compare that to the Marvels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now it has 62 percent on the critic side and then 82 percent now if you go inside it is 45 percent from the top critics which is pretty mm, okay. damn bad now i saw a, a thing online it basically says that this is what happens when you have dei uh dei um and esg garbage movie and this is what you get when you have Two white guys saving the day. <laughs> Two straight white guys, that is. <laughs> right. Now, if you go all the way down over here, this is Ron Tomato score. We go all the way down. I do want to, there's an update right over here. I'm going to read over here. I was like, however, the closer to the release, the estimates dropped to, I think, as low as 150 million. The current estimates are that in the middle of those two numbers with Deadpool and Wolverine looking like 180 million opening, but higher is definitely possible. I think the words of mouth could hit, uh, can make it hit 200 million. Numbers as a flick is definitely a must see. Thursday previews is 38.5 million. The eighth highest, sorry, the eighth biggest preview of all time. Best R rated uh, for an R rated movie, which beat Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness 36 million 2022. Now, there's an update right over here. Estimates now show as high as 205 wait, wait, sorry, million. Sorry. sorry. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Do, do, right over here. Yeah, I was going to say, did you mean to show the article? Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I, sorry about that. I, I, I've been reading this. Uh, right over here. So this is basically 38.5 million to 36. Now, the estimates right now is as 205 million for, uh, which is pretty damn good. And Friday and yeah. Thursday previews opened at 96 million, according to Disney. Worldwide box office opening is an estimate over 420 million dollars so far. How, how, how much was the budget again for Deadpool and Wolverine? I don't know. Let's see. Deadpool and Wolverine production budget. Let's see. But do you think that this is going to hit a billion dollars? Given the fact that it's already worldwide at 420. What do you Narrow, think? I would think narrowly, but it it'll be it'll be really good if they did. But I think I think seven hundred to eight hundred is a safe bet. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to look for the production budget for this one right now. I don't see it. If it did, it's good. Great, it deserves it. Great. <laughs> I mean, that, but my I think if if it's if the first weekend is four hundred twenty, because like we have to assume right, it's gonna decrease in as the weeks go by. So. I would estimate around okay, very optimistic 900. Very okay. optimistic, like towards the tail end of the cycle when it's about to, you know, be pulled off from theaters. Yeah. In my opinion, I think I think it's good. 
Uh, now, yeah. uh, I'm not sure if this movie will be should be shown in China because of its rated R. But sometimes rated R movie does get there. But it's a Marvel movie, so I'm not sure if it might or might not get there. I know that the first Deadpool movie did not make it to China because of nudity. Uh, second one, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if this one is going to make it to China, right? So, uh, but yeah, man, uh, this is, in my opinion, I think this is great. Um, good. This is a very, very good start. I believe this is, uh, however, this is only going to be a one-time thing, in my opinion. I think it's, it's good. If you're going to hit a billion, uh, I think so. I think it will. The word of mouth is going to be huge, right? And yeah. uh, the thing is, with that, do you think that the new Captain America is going to nah. hit? Is going to hit that? Even though, if you have like Harrison Ford in there, it's like I don't think it's going to save that show, given like what its reception in what do you call this? Uh, given its reception. For, I didn't watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. so I don't think I don't. I but I know the reception for that is like they went on the DEI politics, like you need to do better, Senator, and stuff like that. I don't know if they're gonna try to redeem themselves in. Uh, they're gonna try to redeem themselves in this latest show, but I, but I, I it's hard to explain. May, may, mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, or maybe not. But I'm leaning towards no. Because mm -hmm. like I think this is still the leftovers of the DEI stuff, and they're all with the announcement of like Robert Downey as Doctor Doom. I think this is just that's the starting point of Marvel redeeming themselves. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at eight p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.